Hi everyone, and welcome along to today's video, which is about these things. Yeah, stop cocks, stop valves, stop taps, whatever you like. They are criminal devices, aren't they? They never seem to work. They're always going stiff. You can't turn them, they get all solid. And also, sometimes when you do turn them, they leak out of here, don't they? Out of the packing glands. They're always doing it as a 50 mil one, drip, 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 as soon as you start to turn it. So why do we have these horrible devices in our properties? And why do the water companies say that you've got to have one of these? Why can't we have something else? Like those lovely full quarter turn levers that just go up and down like so. <laughs> well, the problem lies from way back really, years and years, for years and years, these things have been fitted in properties. And one of the reasons was because they act as a non-return valve if the jumper inside is loose. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But nowadays, a lot of these new stock cocks, the jumper's not loose. And I'm going to show you in this one, they're actually fixed. So it no longer acts as a non-return valve. So a lot of properties now, they're still fitting stock cocks as they have to because the water company say so. But fitting a non-return valve underneath it because nowadays these jumpers are fixed in place. But if you live in an old property and you've got an old stock valve, pretty certain it'll have a loose jumper in it and I'll show you what I mean in a minute and why that acts so. There's an arrow on your stopcock. Now let me get it there. There, there he be. Okay so you've got to get that arrow facing the flow of water up that way. If it's upside down it will still work with one of the modern ones with a fixed jumper but not on one of the older valves where the jumper is loose. I'm going to show you for that reason why now. I'll just take your stopcock off to show you. You need to shut the water up. Right then, stopcock. We're going to take the, the top off it. Yeah. And there you have it in two halves. Yes, two bits. This bar here is the jumper with the washer on top. All right. Now look, in this model and in a lot of newer tabs, it's fixed. Now, because that's fixed, it's not going to act as a non-return valve. So, the water company aren't going to get their non-return valve. But if you notice in a lot of newer properties where you've got a stop clock, there will be a non-return valve fitted underneath it. And that does the job of preventing the backflow of water from your property and being drawn out into the mains in the street and contaminating water supply. So older properties would have the one with the jumper that is loose and that meant that you didn't have to have a non-return valve underneath the stopcock because it acted as a non-return valve because if you look at this now there's an, an arrow there pointing up that's the water in okay so the water comes in and it goes straight through there as you can see as uh, so it's gone up in that way and the jumper and washer lifts off as you unscrew it and it goes down that hole there there's a hole there so I can see you there higher up and out of there so well you see it probably better if I show you that there so we can get the light on it properly there we are you can see the hole comes up through that way so that means when it's fitted the right way round it will always work and the flow will always go but if you were to fit it the wrong way round so there we are, the, one, the wrong way round. <laughs> okay, what what will happen if mains water tried to get through there? Then is it would actually force the jumper. Let's just get that light right on it to force itself back onto the seating. You get the flow coming up through there and pushing the loose jumper and seating down onto there. So effectively shutting the water off. So. What happens when it's the right way around is that it will always, always stop water going back into the street and contaminating the water supply. As I say, nowadays we have non-return valves, but it kind of gets me as well that we, we have to have these now still when we can have a non-return valve fitted and have a nice lever or another nice valve that doesn't corrode. <laughs> And uh, it just seems a shame we're still stuck with stock because they're such a nightmare, aren't they? 
Yeah, I've never known many houses where I can go in and actually turn this off by hand and it goes off. I usually got to put grips on it, loosen this packing gland off which starts leaking and squeak it to get it going and eventually get the water off. So sometimes I can spend 10 minutes, quarter of an hour just getting the water off and you wonder why plumbers charge exorbitant rates. <laughs> They got all these problems to get by before they even get to the job in hand that might need doing in your house. So just bear that in mind. But these things still going, still out there. Shame. I eat them with a vengeance as well, but there we are. We have to put up with them. But that's why you still got a stopcock in your property today. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> No, they're, they're good and bad, aren't they? If they're working, you look after them, grease them up, keep them turning every couple of months, give them a little twist and a turn to make sure they don't go stiff and solid so you can't turn them. If the washer ever goes inside and you turn it off and it's still leaking out of the tap, then you know you've got to take that head off and put a new washer on it. This little bad boy then has to stay, but say care, look after them, keep them greased up, and twisty turny so that you know they're going to work when you need them and honestly they'll be fine <laughs> if you're lucky no if you will <laughs> okay all my stuff they're written fairly free don't forget to subscribe and tick the notification box i'd love for you to get a note of all my videos that are coming up my subs are of late going down it's a bit of a shame but i guess my competitors are Competitors are doing a better job than some of these videos than me, obviously, uh, because I'm, I'm losing ground rapidly, so I need your support. <laughs> okay, that's it though. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.